Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Descriptive slash Laboratory Chemistry Part 4. Um, today we're going to be talking about gas evolution reactions. Gas evolution reactions are just reactions in which one of the products is a gas, so you're producing a gas. And they tend to be single displacement or double displacement reactions. Um, one famous one that you've probably, that you recognize at least, is the salt as the um, vinegar and baking soda experiment. So you take vinegar, which is acidic acid, and you take baking soda, which is sodium uh, bicarbonate, and you put them together in like a bottle or something, and you put a balloon over it. And as the reaction progresses, the balloon fills up with a gas. So if you look at the reaction that's happening between the acidic acid and sodium bicarbonate, you would expect a gas to be formed. Um, but when you do look at it, it's uh, acidic acid with uh, sodium bicarbonate producing sodium uh, acetate and carbonic acid. The problem with both of these is that they're both aqueous. Um, so where does a gas play into this? The thing about uh, carbonic acid is that it's an intermediate. So when you have uh, carbonic acid being formed, it doesn't like being in that state. It would rather decompose into carbon, carbon dioxide and water. So whenever you see one of your products being carbonic acid, you know that it's going to immediately decompose into carbon dioxide gas and water. So in this balloon, what's really in this balloon is going to be carbon dioxide. There's two more of these that, that um, you might come across. One of them is sulfurous acid, which is going to immediately decompose into um, sulfur dioxide and water. And another one is ammonium hydroxide, which is going to decompose into ammonia gas and water. The last one is a product that you might just find. And um, instead of it being aqueous or solid, it's going to be in a gaseous form and it's going to be um, hydrogen sulfide. So let's, let's take all this and do a bit of practice with it because you realize that these uh, intermediate kind of compounds are only half of the gas evolution um, story. Let's look at this problem. Addition of six molar hydrochloric acid to which substance will not result in gas evolution. And I want to start with C and D first. So we're gonna have to eventually check all A, B, C, and D, but let's start with C and D. So we, we can start with C, which is K2CO3. And we're asked if we add uh, six molar hydrochloric acid to this, is this or is this not going to cause a gas evolution? So if we add hydrochloric acid to this, what's gonna happen is a double displacement reaction. Um, and so what will occur is that the hydrogen pairs up with the uh, carbonate. So we're gonna have H2CO3 aqueous, and we're gonna have the potassium pairing up with the chloride, so KCl. Now, if you notice, one of our products that we formed was our carbonic acid. And carbonic acid is, again, an intermediate, so it's going to immediately decompose. It's going to be H2CO3 decomposing into uh, H2O and uh, carbon dioxide gas. So it's clearly not C, because C is producing a gas here. Let's look at D, NaNO3. We have NaNO3 reacting with hydrochloric acid. Um, so the uh, hydrogen is going to pair up with the uh, nitrate, so it's going to be HNO3. And the sodium is going to pair up with the chloride, so NaCl. If you notice, both of these are going to be aqueous. H2, HNO3 isn't anything uh, special. And sodium chloride is just a salt, and it's going to be aqueous. So our answer here is D. But let's look at the other two uh, options, A and B, to see why they result, it result in a gas evolution. Um, so let's start with the aluminum. So aluminum, aluminum reacting with hydrochloric acid. Aluminum has a charge of three plus, so it's going to pair up with the chloride. Um, and when it does, it's gonna form AlCl3, aluminum chloride. And hydrogen is left on its own. But if you remember, hydrogen is one of your diatomic elements. So you can't have hydrogen on its own. You're going to need to include a two here. Um, so this is the chemical reaction that's happening here. I'm not going to balance it, but essentially aluminum is reacting with hydrochloric acid to produce uh, aluminum chloride and hydrogen gas. So it can be A. Um, let's just check B really quickly. So zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid to form what? Well, zinc has a charge of plus two most of the times. Um, and so it's going to react with the chloride. So we're going to have zinc chloride, um, and the chloride is going to have a um, subscript of two. And hydrogen is left on its own, but you can't just have hydrogen on its own. You have to add a two, uh, two to it because it's a diatomic element. And this is going to be in its gaseous form. Now, hydrogen isn't the only diatomic element that is in its gaseous form all the time. 
Um, so first of all, it can't be B, it has to be D. Um, but along with hydrogen, you're going to have hydrogen, you're going to have nitrogen, you're going to have oxygen, and you're going to have fluorine, and you're going to have chlorine. All of these in room temperature and standard pressure are going to be gases. So while in these cases, when we did our single displacement reaction, we had hydrogen on its own, if we had nitrogen on its own or oxygen or fluorine or chlorine, um, they would all be gases. Um, so you would have a gas evolution reaction happening. But in this case, the answer is D. Let's do one more problem. It's really similar to what we just did. Addition of small amount of solid uh, four molar hydrochloric acid, uh, sorry, addition of small amount of which solid to four molar hydrochloric acid will result in gas evolution. So first of all, let's try zinc. Um, I guess we just did this. So zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid. Uh, as we saw before, zinc has a charge of two plus. So it's gonna pair up with the chloride. We're gonna have zinc chloride two and hydrogen. Hydrogen can't be on its own. And so it must be in its diatomic form and it's a gas in its diatomic form. So this will result in a gas evolution. All right, let's check number two. So we have uh, Na2SO3, sodium sulfite, Na2SO3, reacting with hydrochloric acid. So the hydrogen is gonna pair up with the sulfite ion, um, and so you're gonna have H2SO3 aqueous, and the uh, sodium pairs up with the chloride, so we have NaCl, and that's gonna be aqueous. If you, if you see, um, H2SO3 is one of our intermediates, and we know it's going to uh, immediately break down into SO2, sulfur dioxide, and water. And sulfur dioxide is a gas. So um, sodium, uh, sorry, sorry, sodium sulfite is going to cause a gas evolution reaction when reacted with uh, four molar hydrochloric acid. So the answer is both one and two. One and two. And that's it. All right, that's it for gas evolution reactions. I hope you were able to learn something and I hope to see you later. Thank you.